Be sure to look out for my new online men's boutique, Vintage Malore, launching this month. Hey guys, it is Hustle Malore, and I want to welcome you guys to a new vlog right here on HustleMalore.com. We have many, many new segments, a new month, a new season, so many things to do that's new. So let's get started right here on a new vlog for HustleMalore.com. Let's start with the Instagram of the week. I know I'm probably going to go to hell for this. God forgive me. But did you guys check out one of the, my favorite Halloween costumes, which was Whitney, Dead Whitney. And it was her laying in. It was somebody that took her. They dressed up. The only thing that, that I did not like was it was a white chick and she had black paint on. And I could have punched her in the face for that. But she took like one of those tubs that you put old clothes in and she cut it so she it looked like a tub she put little cotton balls around it and it made it look like it was a Whitney in the bathtub and to me that was really creative even though the meaning was somewhat bad it was creative you gotta give it to her it was very very creative so yeah and while we're talking about ha Halloween and Instagram let's check out my Halloween costume me and my good friend Henry hit up Rico Chappelle's the designers uh, Halloween party and I was Beyonce and he was Nicki Minaj so let's look at that pic now too I've inherited another daughter <laughs> we got to go we got to go with it a boyfriend. Magic couples right here. And what? Chrissy has such nickitis right now. I don't like being without him. There is life other than just having a boyfriend. It's kind of like Charlie Brown. All I'm hearing is womp, 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 bull womp. Let's jump into the top three stories on HostelBalore.com for this past week. Let's start with the Whitney... Houston, the Houston's Lifetime Show on our own. Why must y'all insist on dragging the family and Bobby Christina for doing this show? Like, if you don't want to watch the damn show, turn the damn channel. And half y'all watching it is still on cable, so I don't understand why y'all even feel like y'all have an opinion. But the show premiered like two weeks ago, and it's, it, it, it has been centered around Bobby Christina dealing with her mom's death and all... Some scenes you can actually tell that either she's high or she's drunk or something and it's like it is kind of sad to watch but it's entertaining and shit. If they want to do the show, she got all these grown people around her and if they feel like she if she feel like she capable of doing the show, then I feel like I'm capable to watch. So it feel like everybody wanna have all this negative stuff to say, but when all y'all have to do is turn the TV, it's not that hard. Turn the damn TV. You feel me? Anyways, I like the show. Um I have nothing to say about her relationship with Nick. If she wants to be with him, that's her own decision. If he's using her for her money, that's his own decision. Why do we feel like we always got to dibble and dab in everybody else's lives when our shit is not correct? You feel me? So get your stuff in order before you try to talk about Miss Bobby Christina. Yeah, her wig might be pushed back to the back of her it, uh, head. And uh, her gap might be a little huge, but... She doing it. She's been a Tyler Perry show. She got her own lifetime show. Come on, get money. You know, she said, I'm not finna sit around here and wait for this inheritance when I turn 20, 30, or 40. I'm finna go out and make my coins out now. I do wish she would get it together. But, I mean, stop dragging them. If they want to do the show, let them do it. If you don't, if you got so much negative shit to say, turn. It's that, it's that simple. So this week... Actress Lisa Ray released a photo in support of Barack Obama. Now, to be honest, I think the only reason that Lisa Ray did this is because, you know, her and Stacey Dash had that beef on the set of Single Ladies and some kind of physical altercation when, they, when, she, when Stacey Dash was on the show. And I felt like, and Stacey Dash went and did her photo for Mitt Romney to show her support, so I felt like Stacey, uh, Lisa Ray felt like she should do one to support Barack Obama, but come on, Lisa Ray, I know you kind of childish, girl, so the real reason that you did it was because you wanted to hit back at Stacey, Stacey Dash, and I, I mean, yours, it was a photo, I mean, you were kind of new, but your back was turned, and it was painted, it was tasteful, but it's like, do you guys have to do all this just to show your support, how about answering or calling a couple people, answering lines and stuff at a voting polling location, or something like that, to show your support, for your candidate. I don't understand why y'all feel like doing pictures and stuff. I can see if it was Beyonce or somebody that was real big doing pictures, but why do y'all feel like y'all gotta do pictures and stuff to show support? 
answer go out go out and talk to the people and tell them why you're voting for this person go out and answer a couple calls get online do do stuff that's going to really help putting out a picture is nothing but publicity for yourself it's not really saying that oh i support this candidate and i really really understand their values and what they're running for no it's not saying that it's saying that i need some publicity so i'm going to use this opportunity to get my face and my name out there a little more i did love the picture miss lisa ray but come on it was not necessary just like stacy dash's was necessary so I'm not gonna you know be a hypocrite and say oh Stacey Dash should have did it I mean Stacey Dash should have did a picture for hers and yeah oh since you did one of this for Barack Obama yeah oh yes yours was glorious no you shouldn't have did it either so you need to have a seat too and go out and really really campaign for Barack Obama if that's who you support I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all that Miss Nene Leakes had got back with her ex-husband, Greg. Come on, it was no secret the two have supposedly rekindled their romance. As you can see in a new clip right here or right somewhere on the screen, I'm going to post the clip for you to see from the new season five of Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they are living back together there. Uh, I can see it. And the thing is, it's believable this go around. I can see in Nene's face that she's happy that Greg is back in her life, that things are going her way. And it's just a great thing to see because she has been through so much and it was one time reflecting through her attitude when she was a negative person, but I love her now. And um, I told y'all that they were back together. Now I'm so happy because they have a young child together. Uh, he was there for her before she got big. And I mean, it's not like somebody that's coming in the picture that wants to use her because she's got all this money now and she's very rich, bitch, and all that. So I'm very, very happy for Nene Leakes. She's doing a damn thing. She's also on the cover of e uh, Ebony Magazine's Power 100. So I don't know how a few of the real, you know, celebrities that have been out for a while that are, you know, legends and stuff feel about her being on the cover but shout out to Nene Leakes. Now y'all know I love me old nasty piece of fashion so this week my fashion fave comes from Kelly Rowland. She was spotted in Beverly Hills with her cousin and who is texting me while I'm goddamn typing? I mean goddamn filming. Like I was saying, y'all know I love me old nasty piece of fashion. So let's get into my fave fashion fix for this week, which, which came from Kelly Rowland. She was spotted in Beverly Hills with her cousin. And she was rocking a very relaxed, down-to-earth, relaxed, I'm just out trying to get me a drink and a piece of food to do a little shopping outfit. And it was cute. She rocked a basic tee with some jeans and some cute wedges, had her hair back in the old nasty ponytail, and some shades and I really really love it because it says it's just it's just so normal it's just but it's cute so shout out to Kelly Rowland my favorite item from this week comes from Slit Races Big Mama you might know him from the Repugnante song that I posted on my site if that's how you pronounce it I don't I don't know but anyways he has a new sweatshirt that says Illuminati and you know I'm not trying to convert or nothing to give my life to the devil but that shirt slays and you can find it on thou shalt rebel dot big cartel dot com and it's thirty five dollars and it's just I just love it and I said that this year you know every year you have a, a certain like accessory like last year might have been cardigans for me uh, the year before that it might have been you know my favorite thing were boots for the fall but this year my favorite look for the fall is going to be just oversized sweatshirts jeans and boots that's all that's 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 what i'm so if you see me out in the streets and you be like oh is that hustle well, i don't know and, but you look at the outfit and it's an oversized sweatshirt jeans and some boots i'll be like hey oh, hey hostel you know hit me up you know but check it out it's in red i think i saw a white one on his instagram but it wasn't on the actual website but also check them out uh, com. All I need in this life of sin is me and my girlfriend. Anyways, that's not my favorite song for the week, but two of my favorite tracks for the week would have to go to Sierra with Got Me Good. She released a video for this new single. It's very, very cute. It's very cute. Um, shout out to Sierra, the video, I think I love the single cover better than I like the video because I'm kind of tired of her dancing and recycling the same moves, but the song is really cute, I can see me slanted in the club with my old nasty boots and shit, and also, another one, one of my favorite goes to Future, now call me Ratchet if you, if you want, but did you hear that remix that Kelly Rowland jumped on for Never End, we don't wanna never end, we don't wanna, we don't wanna never end, we don't wanna, Oh, that is my shit. 
Shout out to Future and Kelly Rowland for that. It's Kelly is on so many goddamn songs right now. It's like, girl, every time I turn on the radio, it's representing, uh, you know, How Deep Is Your Love, uh, Ice, or, you know, Big Boy Mama Told Me, or, you know, it's this, that, or the other. Shout out to Kelly Rowland. You better be getting the damn on. <laughs> Last but not least, let's get into the reality fix for HostelMalore.com. Right here on HostelMalore.com. I would have to give it to Lamo. She is really doing a thing. She released a teaser for her new web series called Taming Lamo. She done moved her ass on out to Miss Hollywood to get her career back in order. And it's, it's like I've been rooting for Lamo, and I'm just glad that she is not giving up. Like she is doing a damn thing. She is really putting her best foot forward and trying to make you know make it happen again come on let's not play Lil Mo was hot back in what the early 2000s with Ja Rule and stuff don't like y'all wasn't jamming her while y'all at the McDonald's checkout line and stuff Lil Mo she she shouldn't have took that break that's what she should have did had all them kids but I know they just probably just the reason that she's really pushing forward now is to you know really provide and I'm just so proud of her it was very entertaining the clip at some points I was like yeah but for the most part if it, it does get picked up by a network or if it's already picked up by a network I will be tuning in it's called Tame a Mo let's get into a snippet here but before that let me just say thank you guys for tuning in to my new vlog check out a new vlog each and every week right here on hospital.com we have a lot of changes coming to the site I'm going to switch over the platform from which I blog so a lot of changes coming to new future a lot of new stuff coming to hospital Com. So make sure you stay tuned. Check out my new clothing boutique, Vintage Malore. Uh, the website launches soon, but you can check it out on Facebook.com slash Vintage Malore right now and more. Thank you again. Let's see the clip from Limo's new reality show. Bye. I can tell you right now off the top, got to lose some weight. I'd say maybe about 10 pounds. Maybe pick one hair color and uh, get a little bit more conservative and, and more approachable for let's say a magazine like Vogue. He ain't really go as I planned it. He tried it a little bit. Try it again. That's his ass. I ain't lying. Oh, Hello. Everybody has their mommy and I don't. Kevin, mommy. calm down. I don't know if I'm a bad mom because I want to chase my dream and do what I think is best for my family.